beginning of life to the end of it, no one likes going to a party that's dead, right? Ooh, no thanks. Unless, of course, it's being thrown by real estate mogul and Shark Tank host Barbara Corcoran. Barbara recently decided to celebrate her 70th birthday, but instead of jumping out of a cake, she jumped into a casket. That's weird. That's right. Barbara threw her own funeral to celebrate her big day. Guests who attended the party arrived to find Barbara lying in a coffin wow. in a red the, Carolina oh my Carrera God. gown next to a cutout of herself dressed like a nun. <laughs> Ninety members of her friends and family, including Shark Tank co-hosts Mark Cuban and Damon John, came to pay their respects before Barbara popped out of her coffin to the Diana Ross song, I'm Alive. About her prank, Barbara said, quote, what the heck? You only die once. You might as well be around for it. So, <laughs> ladies, are you dying to throw a birthday like this? I'm not coming. Me neither, right? I'm not coming. I'm not supporting Did this. Did you do this, Jeannie? This is creepy to me. I think this is morbid. I think the only scary. person on this table that would do that is Jeannie. That's Mom. why I did this. I swear. I swear. Okay. Read that right there. Yeah. Jeannie would be <laughs> into this sort of stuff. Okay. Here's why, though. Here's okay. why. Okay. Okay. I've been to enough funerals in my past, personal family members and also friends that have been shot and hurt, and I find that it's it's the most... It's the saddest thing to hear uh, people warm, mourn and a mother mourn their loss and all that. It's terrible. But death is a part of life. And today, my parents and I, we have a very healthy discussion about, like, you know, how much we love each other each day, how much we... That's why you see me wow out so hard, because I got to live each day like it's my last. That's right. I really do. Right. So that said... I think about my funeral. I thought about it. I told y'all on the show many times, y'all aren't wearing black to my funeral. We're all going to have a party. We're going to have my favorite foods. We're going to be playing trap music. It's going to be a ball. I don't think I would go this far, but I give props to somebody, especially a, a person who is as old as Barbara has grown to, to be, to be like, I've lived such a great life, and I'm not afraid of that, and I'm so happy that I will rest in peace now and the day that I go when I do. I think that's dope. So I give it up to her. And the fact that you guys can all laugh, that's the way we should be about, uh, about I was, death I was traumatized too. by me funerals. Too. The photo alone is traumatizing me right now. Why is it traumatizing? No. Come you on. Have, it's I'm, not that hard. It's the fear of you, the unknown. That's why. That's what, and, and what do we know about fear? For me, it's not death. I was, like, traumatized by actual funerals. Like, I attended over 40 funerals growing up in an urban community, and that's just, like, really scary. It is. Yeah. Yes, it is, but... It's also a part of life. No, for sure. You know but I mean? while I'm alive, I want to be alive. Not well, that party was dead. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. All right.